hello guys welcome to being engineers in this video i will tell you how to use your windows devices as a monitor of your raspberry pi and by de windows devices i mean windows pc and windows laptop not the windows mobile because i don't have a windows mobile with me right now so i can't tell the actual process how to use it as a monitor for raspberry pi but if i get some windows from from my friend or somewhere i will definitely try to give a video on that so let's come back to this video so these are the two softwares that we will be using the first one is putty and the second one is vnc viewer actually we will i will giving i will be giving the link of these two softwares in a description box below so go to the link download and install the softwares the process is pretty much straightforward so i will not bore you by installing this soft i have already done that so the putty software the first one will be used to create a SHS connection between your Raspberry Pi and your laptop and the second VNC viewer will be actually using to cast the monitor of your Raspberry Pi to your Windows laptop screen. So these are the two softwares. After you have installed these two softwares, we have to go to the next step. The next step is identifying the IP address of the Raspberry Pi in your network. So open your browser type in the IP address of your router for me it is 192.168.0.1 the IP address of your router will be written in the back side of your router you can check it so after this you have to log in to your router so give your password and login after you have logged in go to this LAN setup part or it will be named some differently in different routers basically you need to find the LAN ports and the all the devices attached to your network so here you can find the all the devices attached to my network there are there are three android phones the one pc is there ipad is there and the last one is the raspberry pi so the ip address of the raspberry pi is 192.168.0.105 so that ip address you have to note now open up the putty software just paste the ip address in the host name part and keep the other things as it is don't try to alter those things if you are not confident enough and click on open now you have to log into your pi and if you haven't changed anything in the os till now the default username will be pi pi in small letters and the password will be raspberry in small so we have now logged in in our pi Basically, it is a good practice to update and upgrade your system as soon as you log in in your Pi. But to save some time, I will be not doing that. I will be installing the software that we will need and the software name is Tide VNC Server. So just, I will be installing the software now. The comment will be sudo space apt-get space install space Tide VNC Server. and press enter it will take some three or four minutes of time depending upon your internet speed so be patient and wait for the software to be installed type y and enter so the software is installed now just now type in the software name that is the tight vnc server and press enter now the software will ask you to give some password at the first time now you have to give some password for login to your vnc server so give a password as you wish i will be giving one two three four five six seven eight press enter now again type the same password to verify type in and enter now you have to note down the desktop number here you can see the line is written like this new x desktop is raspberry pi colon one this one is the desktop number that you have to note because we will need it in the vnc server software so now open vnc viewer app now type in the ip address in the vnc server like this so first the ip address of your raspberry pi then a colon then the desktop number and then click on connect It will ask you for some security issue but do ignore those, those are common things and it is not harmful at all. So continue.
now you have to put in the password that you have just entered in the putty software one two three four five six seven eight for me and type in that and click on ok so now you can see that you are in the desktop of raspberry pi i have installed the raspbian os in this this is raspbian os desktop and you can see the all the menus here the programming stuffs office stuffs internet games things and all these stuffs you can see in the raspbian os this is the terminal of the raspbian so that's how you can monitor your raspberry pi through your windows devices like windows pc or windows laptop but not the windows mobile the process will be different for windows mobile i'll be giving some other tutorials on those if i get a windows phone from my friend or from anyone if you like this video please give us a thumbs up that means a lot and don't forget to subscribe to our channel follow us on twitter and facebook the links are given in the description box below we'll meet you in the next video till then bye